Hi, I'm Jenna Flowers. And I'm Max Leverman. And this is our action project on social intimidation to dress a certain way. The goal of our project was to fight the social judgment we face from our peers as students and teenagers. We decided to focus on this area because we see that a lot in our current day to day at school and at home and around in public to dress whatever, um, to dress to fit in with other people and to dress a certain way that maybe might not be as comfortable to us, but might look good to other people rather than to go for comfort or to go for individuality. We initially found that it wasn't as prominent to find this intimidation in just a certain way within our immediate friend group. But once we started talking to people outside of our friend group and the people around the school, whether it be upperclassmen, lowerclassmen, girls or boys, we started to determine that it was more of a problem. For our activity, we asked people to write down things that they wouldn't be necessarily comfortable with wearing to school on sticky notes so that we can add it to a poster. And we asked them to wear it to school in order to see how their friends would respond, classmates, and other people on campus. We feel that the project increased a sense of belonging by including both grade levels and different genders to try and make people realize maybe the judgment that they feel when they're walking around to help them not judge other people as much. In our initial survey, we found that not everyone thought that social pressure was a big problem at our school. However, after conducting our interviews with the students that participated, they claimed that they did feel the judgment from the people around them. Of course, we made it clear to the students that they needed to dress appropriately. Something that I realized from this project was that a lot of people have been doing this for so long or dressing a certain way for so long that it became a habit to them and they don't even realize that they're doing it. And so I think this project did a really good job of helping people re-express themselves and figuring out their own individual style, I guess you can say. And a way this is going to help me be a better peer mediator is that I can, one, start expressing better myself in my own style. And hopefully by me doing that can influence other people to also do that and to be more comfortable around them so that they can be more confident in themselves. And one thing that I learned from this project was that although the mistreatment isn't necessarily prominent in my life, I do see it sometimes. It can be very devastating to other people and very prominent in their lives. And this can improve my role as a peer mediator because I will always want to promote positivity because of the mistreatment that I saw through this project and also encourage people to have their individuality in their style.